These are the Magdalen Islands, in French known as Les Îles de la Madeleine. Twelve islands make up this chain, seven are inhabited, and six of these are connected by long, narrow sand dunes, 300 kilometers of the best beaches in Canada. The first written account of these islands was by Jacques Cartier, who spotted them on his return to France in 1534. But you'll find some more recent reports down in the basement of lifelong resident Isaac Bourgeois. He's been archiving the local newspaper for decades. In 1663, I believe, yes, first people landed here. Uh, they were Acadian, huh? they, were, they were chased out of Nova Scotia and uh, New Brunswick. And some came here and some uh, kept going and went to uh, the North Shore, to Natashwan, uh, around that way. So it was a hard time to survive. There was nothing here but wood, you know, and uh, they live on fish most of the time. Until recently, fishing has always been a mainstay for Madalinos. The evolution of this industry is well documented at the Museum of the Sea. You'll also find a special section on navigation in the St. Lawrence, and some history on shipwrecks around the islands. And speaking of shipwrecks, Claude Bourgeois experienced one firsthand. He worked for 18 years as a fisherman until one day his boat capsized. He survived but couldn't bear the thought of returning to a life at sea. So he decided to fulfill another lifelong dream, building an open-air museum all about the lives of fishermen. It's called Site d'autrefois, which means a site from another time. The influence of the ocean is everywhere on the Magdalen Islands, and even here at this local auberge where owner Therese Bergeron had incorporated it into her décor. On vient prendre contact avec la mer, c'est une énergie qui est magnifique. <laughs> and you'll find you're not alone in your enjoyment of the people and the holiday. Just enjoying the magnificent scenery and the, oh, the, the multicolored houses. Blue, green, purple. The atmosphere here is incredibly warm. It's tremendously inviting. People don't speak English as the first language, but they're very engaging and they try hard to understand what we're saying. And we've been happy in every engagement that we've had with Everybody's people. Everybody's been very beautiful. Fun. Dining out is definitely a highlight for visitors to the Magdalen Islands. There are quite a few gourmet restaurants with menus that might surprise you for such an isolated place. Of course, fresh seafood features prominently and you'll quickly learn to save room for dessert. La Mariotte is one of the most renowned restaurants on the islands. Ocean perch, the flounder, the cod, crab, the sea snails. Of course, all from the islands uh, and the vegetables too, especially in summertime. Take time to visit the town of La Grave, an important historic site on the islands. The name comes from the French word grève, which means pebbly and sandy terrain. It does have a pebbly beach, but if it's not beach weather when you arrive, slip into this popular hangout instead, called Café La Grave. It's a great spot for meeting up with Madalinos, the local people. The main street of La Grave is lined with craft and souvenir shops. My favorite stop is the studio of jewelry artist Franz Pinchot. I take mold from natural seashells I find here on the beaches, and then with the mold I can reproduce them in sterling or in gold. One of the most popular designs are the sand dollars, because it's rare to find them here, and when we find them we say it's a lucky charm, so it's always the favorite uh, pieces for the people who visit the Magdalene Islands. Perhaps the most famous studio on the islands is that of Les Artisans du Sable, the artisans of the sand. We use only natural sands. We don't dye the sand and we have uh, many, many colors. We start by mixing the sand with a kind of glue and we make blocks. And after about an hour, an hour and a half, the block is solid and we can work on it we can turn it on a wood lathe, we can sculpt it, like if it was a piece of wood. Things also heat up at La Meduse, a glass-blowing workshop.
more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.